The India Fund gives um, investors a unique opportunity to invest on the ASX in a listed investment company focusing on the top 100 companies on the Bombay Stock Exchange and the National Stock Exchange. The question, of course, is why do we want to do this? And that is simply because India is entering a, fa a growth phase where the IMF have forecasted a 7.5% GDP growth in India. Aligned with that is Modi's economic and political agenda where he has a mandate by the Indian people to develop the country. He has transformed the status of India for foreign investors in the last 18 months. He's opened it up. The relevance is that this has transformed itself directly into the massive change that India has experienced uh, over the last, uh, since he's been in government. Secondly, the product is, uh, gives exposure in a very conservative manner to the top 100 companies in India. Portfolio is likely to hold about 50 to 70 stocks. 80% of them uh, are, need, needed, uh, are needed to be held um, in the top 100. Uh, with some exposure for the fund manager being able to pick stocks in the remaining 20% um, down to 500. This is unique in a sense that it has its country specific to oh. India. The, the product is a very interesting product in the way we've structured it. So it's a $1 share with, uh, with an attaching option, which will trade for one day. So we'll have a valuation to compensate for any discount in the NTA. Uh, on day one. Um, the costs in this particular fund are the lowest uh, in terms of an emerging markets product. Um, the investment manager is India's fourth largest private bank in Kotak Mahindra. Um, Kotak is a well-established bank in India, uh, recently acquired ING assets in India and uh, gives it a India-wide exposure of 1,400 branches on the retail side. Uh, it's one of India's largest fund managers, uh, previously having a joint venture with Goldman Sachs, uh, and manages approximately 20 billion US dollars domestically in India and externally. Its portfolio is going to be managed by Kotak Mahindra and by the principal fund manager, Mr. Nitin Jain, who's been with the company for 19 years and has an exemplary performance record. Over the last five years, Nitin, in a very similar US-based fund, uh, has outperformed the benchmark. The benchmark for this fund is the S&P CNX 500, which represents India's top 500 companies. Well, one, one of them is uh, Modi being unable to fill his political agenda. So far, he's been uh, very successful and that's trans it's transformed itself into the results that we see today with a sustainable GDP of around 7.5% according to IMF. The other, the other risk that we, we, need, we need to identify is the currency risk. Although the uh, rupee Aussie dollar have been rather stable over the last couple of years, uh, we, still have, uh, uh, we still have maybe some upside and that upside is that if, if the Aussie dollar drops <laughs> Uh, on the other side, that if you invest into India, you're, you're investing in a product that has high conviction to what you're investing in. So it's unhedged. So the, the, the simple reason why you want to invest in this fund is that over the next 10 years, you're likely to see an enormous growth in the domestic market and the valuation of those companies. Right, and that's all based on the demographic dividend. It's to do with consumption, domestic consumption, and India's program, for example, like Make India, which is now going to compete with India's manufacturing hub. And that will then bring India into a completely different realm in terms of industrial power. So that, that, that's one of the fundamental reasons why, we're going to, why you should invest in India, because you need to have exposure to one of the, which is going to be one of the biggest economies in the world. In, in, and so uh, I believe with Modi now sowing the seeds uh, of a new uh, political and economic agenda, it's the right time.